guys so I'm back um if you haven't already come to the conclusion what this video is about if the title hasn't given it away and you're just completely oblivious to what we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about my top five lipsticks for spring and I know you're kind of like you know spring hasn't come yet so how do you already have a top five well I can tell you that these lipsticks that I'm going to show you fab dolls have been in my collection for the last past two springs so yeah all of them well I want to say yeah I'm gonna say that for the past two years these lipsticks have definitely been in my spring um, collection now um, what I will say is I'm going to do several different editions because not everybody's a MAC girl. I don't expect everybody to be a MAC girl. Some people, you know, just don't like MAC products. Um, some people don't, you know, fall for the hype like, okay, um, MAC is pretty dope, but they're high as hell. And I can rock out with NYX. And who are you to tell me that I can't? You're absolutely right, little mama. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do several editions of this video because I don't just only wear MAC lipsticks. I don't. And I'm not all bougie like, oh, I only wear MAC. That ain't even my twist because I don't only wear MAC. I wear Wet n Wild. I wear NYX. I'll try anything once, honey, and see if it works. So it doesn't matter if it's $2 or $25, okay? I will try it out. So right now, this is the MAC edition. So if you're not into MAC, maybe I might change your mind. I don't know. Okay. So, this one lipstick that I'm going to talk about, which is my absolute favorite for um, spring. Now, this lipstick, I can tell you, has been in my collection. And I have been wearing it for the last past two years, hands down. Um, and it is the infamous Candy Yum Yum. Okay, Candy Yum Yum is not a new MAC lipstick, okay? Candy Yum Yum came out, I believe, in a collection. I can't think of the collection's name in 2011 okay and of course mac mac likes to dangle things in front of you in this nature mac i don't know what that's about because i don't work for them but i don't know if it's like a market employee i don't i don't know but they like to dangle stuff in front of you like oh look at this look at this and then when you finally you know jazz yourself up to go get it you're like what happened it's gone really what happened MAC does that. So, Candy Yum Yum came out in 2011. I can't remember what collection it came out with. But then they decided to re-release it. I'm pretty sure they got a lot of emails. Got a lot of phone calls. Us Fab Dolls was like, yo, bring Candy Yum Yum back or we gonna have to hurt somebody. Well, not really, but y'all get what I'm saying. Um, So, they re-released Candy Yum Yum in December of 2012. Yeah. So, you know, December was only a couple months away. But Candy Yum Yum is still one of the hardest lipsticks to actually get a hold of. Um, so if I were you, I would give a call to my local Macy's Mac counter just to make sure they have it. Because Macy counters, well Macy Mac counters, only get like six tubes of lipstick. Um, when new things come out or some things are re-released or whatever. So therefore, you can waste a lot of gas and a lot of time going to Mac the Mac counter and Macy's and not get what you want and you'll come home empty handed and you'll feel defeated. So what I would do is I would give a call to my local Macy's Mac counter just to see if they have the lipstick that you're thinking about getting. Me, I like to go to the store, the Mac Pro store. We only have one here in Philly and it's downtown and I love it and I'm constantly there. So I got my candy yum yum from my local store. So enough rambling, okay, can we see the candy yum yum? Bam, there she is. Okay, look at that. This to me is the perfect, perfect. Do y'all feel it? I'm trying to push perfect out so y'all can really feel how I feel. It's the perfect Barbie doll pink. Okay, it's just gorgeous. Now, I don't know if the camera is really, yeah, well, dang, dang, the light beaming it all in your face ain't gonna change it. Um, <laughs> but this is a very, very like hot, hot, hot pink. To me, looking at it on this um, camera, to me it looks um, like a lilac color. I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes, but to me it doesn't look as pink as it is. Maybe if I try to like block the light, that looks a little better, which I think, wait, let me try to turn this light completely out of the way. And, okay, see? Oh, this lipstick is like bomb. Oh my god. If you want to stop traffic, okay, you want to break a couple necks, 
okay definitely get you a tube of candy yum yum real quick candy yum yum is a matte finish okay can you guys see that candy yum yum is matte let me just tell you something about matte lipstick why did i just go out of focus i don't know what's going on with this camera it wants me to fight it and i'm not gonna give it my energy um there i am um candy yum yum is a matte finish if you don't take any advice from me in terms of purchasing candy yum yum if you do purchase it and you get it home you are going to need to exfoliate those lips it seemed like i pronounced exfoliate really really weird but you're going to need to exfoliate your lips okay because candy yum yum is matte so if you have any cracks any dry spots any flaky foolishness going on candy yum yum is going to emphasize it it's going to blow it up and show it to the world okay so if I was you if you don't have like a lip a lip exfoliant what I would do is just do one of your own real quick a real easy one all you need is a couple products um couple ingredients which you probably have a laying around the house now a Vaseline I'm pretty sure you got Vaseline if you don't have Vaseline I'm pretty sure you got extra virgin um olive oil okay so you have one of those petroleum jelly which is Vaseline here's mine I use the cocoa butter Vaseline gotta have it okay or virgin olive oil okay some sugar we all got sugar um some honey okay and literally scrub it on your lips scrub it rub it around in a circle of motion do that a couple times rinse it off boom your lips are going to feel absolutely amazing then I would take a lip moisturizer okay EOS um, whatever you have and just put that on first and then put your candy yum yum on and you will look fierce okay so that was my number one favorite okay my number two we're going in order too like how I love him number one being the best number two oh uh, this lipstick right here I would have named this lipstick get your life this lipstick is so dang cute y'all it's so cute um and it's called snap now this clearly is um a nice nude-esque lilac it's like lilac but it's muted out like a, a nice lavender but it's muted out kind of nude it's so crazy what i'm going to do is wait let me open candy yum yum up real quick i'm sorry if you guys hear the banging I, they're doing construction we're getting new neighbors and <sighs> they're like trying to fix up their place or whatever i don't know but they're they're getting on my nerves okay can you guys see the difference boom this candy yum yum here and this is snap okay what i'm going to do is go a step further okay and i'm going to swatch it boom okay wait i do have to like cover it up Cause that looks like super purple boom there you go see that hot pink okay that's candy yum yum i'm gonna swatch um snob right next to it okay boom there's snob do you get what i'm trying to say fierce okay snob is a satin finish so you know it's going to give you that nice like you may have like a not a lot of lip gloss on top of it but it's nice and smooth so I will rock out with snob. Um, my number three would oh my gosh. Sorry guys. I just I just stuck the top. I don't know y'all probably can't see that. But I just took the top. See that? And I like stuck it in my candy yum yum and it kind of broke my heart a little bit. So I'm sorry. That's why I screamed. I'm dramatic if you if you haven't noticed. I'll probably cry about that later too. Okay. Number three is going to be chatterbox here's chatterbox boom chatterbox okay i like chatterbox it's like one of my favorite i know it's number three so it isn't one or two but three still good um let me swatch it for you okay wait let me try to cover see that i love it um it's cute it's like a corally pink color and it's amplified, so it has that nice finish. So it has that gloss to it. Amplified to me has a lot more gloss than a satin finish, okay? Um, let's say if satin finish had one little, quick little drag uh, lip gloss over top of it. Amplified would have at least like two or three coats. Like, it's definitely a lot shinier than a satin in a matte. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys are really getting a good look at that. 
okay so that's number three i love chatterbox um it's definitely sexy it's so cute i i wore this to the club like every time i was going to the club and i had on a little tight black dress best believe chatterbox was in the building okay number four staying in the whole little pinky family um <laughs> You can tell that <laughs> you would think that this was number one, okay, because it is gone, okay, it's gone. Um, this is Pink Nouveau or Nouveau, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna make myself look like an idiot. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm definitely gonna put it in the description box. And I have none left, like, n like nothing of this, okay, because I've been rocking this lipstick like it was going out of style. This is what it looks like. Okay, so it's here. And if you notice, all of my lipsticks for spring are typically in the same family. You know, Snob just stands out. Boom. But it's still pink. I love pink. I mean, what girl doesn't love pink, especially on the lips? Okay, I'm sorry. I have a habit of snapping. I don't know what that's about. Okay, last but not least. If you don't feel like being bright all the time, some people just don't like to be flamboyant and over the top and extra. So my last is not my least favorite, okay? It's just when I'm not on a thousand and I don't feel like um, I'm just still in the world or trying to take over the world, I'll put on Up the Amp. And I love Up the Amp. I've actually worn this lipstick a lot in the fall. In the winter. Up the Amp is also just like Chatterbox and Amplified um, Finish. So you see that? This one clearly is Up the Amp. Okay? See that? Boom. Have your lip game tight, please, ladies. You can't just step outside if your lip game ain't right. So right here, we have Candy Yum Yum. Excuse me, I need a refill. Okay, I don't need y'all to talk about me. I know I need my nose done. Okay, sorry. I'm dramatic. I told y'all. Um, this right here is Candy Yum Yum, my number one absolute favorite. Here is Snob, okay. Here is um, Chatterbox. Here is Pink Nouveau. It's like N-O-V-E-U. I don't know. It's not on. It's not on my lipstick anymore because I've had this lipstick forever. See. Like, it's, like, off. Like, it came off. So, I, I don't even know. I think it's, like, pink new view. I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, and put it in the description box. But, that's here. And then, number five, last but not least, is my Up the Amp. Okay? So, I'll try to cover it up because the light does kind of, like, take away from the lipstick. But, here you go. Um... <sighs> If I had enough time and common sense, I would apply it on my lips and just put little clips. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. So, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you Fab Dolls um, enjoyed this, lips this lipstick um, video. Now, I'm going to do several other editions. I'm going to do an NYX edition, which will probably follow this video. I don't know if it will be today. But I'll definitely do an NYX edition. And then following that, I'll do a... Uh, wet and wild okay so kisses and hugs until the next time we see each other bye guys mm -hmm.